We are excited because we're officially partnering with Rooted956, and I'm here with the owner, with Allie, and I'm going to pass it to her to introduce herself to you guys. Welcome, everyone. So Rooted956 has been a dream for a long time. We started with our cold-pressed juices, and then we sort of graduated into offering yoga classes and meaningful movement classes through our boot camp programs. Um, and we also offer restorative yoga and our Kalmate stretch class. So we have a little bit of everything, um, but uh, I used to follow Mel on Instagram and I saw that she's just developing all these really cool programs all the time. And that inspired me to hopefully partner with her. I have some friends that have been asking about continuing education credits in the yoga world and how to get certified as a yoga instructor. And those are not things I'm offering right now. So she has some really cool programs on her um, virtual training studio. Yeah, so, we were we, we were actually a lot of our programs were in person. And then when the pandemic hit, we were forced to go online. And honestly, I was like, no, this is not, you know, you're going to lose all this quality. And honestly, I was so surprised by the way we set up our system. It created actually a, a very intimate, like person centered experience for people where they got to tailor a little bit more specific to their interests. There's more one on one mentoring with me. So we were really pleased to find how successful the module format uh, it's all live stream. So this means it's not pre recorded. So you're getting real time real diving in with the content with us at Mel Marie Yoga, and then once a month mentoring with me one-on-one. -on -one. And we also use a mentoring app. So you have 24 seven access voice chat with me. And it's so fun because we just, we just riff back and forth and it's a place for creative development, professional development, uh, self-care and integration. And I love that Ali connected with me be based on a lot of the work around self-care and coming home to the body. So, and you guys are in Laredo, Laredo, Texas. We're in Laredo. So we're not super far from San Antonio. And that's what I love because if there are every once in a while, if there's a workshop that happens to just drive with your schedule and we can make it that way, it's only a two and a half hour drive. So it's not too bad. Um, and, and I, I think going back to what you said about like being against online programs, uh, I specifically, my cousin asked me, she wanted to get certified and she was like, okay, I found this cool program. What do you think about it? And I said, no, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. it, it takes the, um, like just the intimacy out of it, like you said. And then, no, I found that there are some really cool, cool programs online. And I do think yours, um, I've, I've really browsed through the, the portal there and you, you are able to like you said, it's person centric and mm -hmm. Belle and I were talking about kind of the mastering yourself versus mastering a pose. Yeah. I love, I love what you say about that, about how, like, even though I was, I was inspired by Instagram pictures on your page, if you go more in depth and you watch the interviews, that's where you really get to know, like the, the, it the it's, yeah, it's not about what it looks like. So if you're somebody who wants to just learn more about self-care, learn more about mind-body medicine, mindfulness, meditation, stress reduction, you know, a lot of the external is where we lose ourselves, where we get distracted of or distracted by achievement or performance. And the premise at Mel Marie is that like our mission is to help people create a life they do not need to escape from. And I teach a lot about living like you practice. So if you think of the yoga practices are just tools for maintenance, I kind of joke, it's like dental hygiene, right? Like you brush your teeth to keep your teeth healthy. Well, we do these practices to maintain the state and coherence of our nervous system. So then it's more about how you live and it improves and optimizes your ability to regulate your ability to choose and hold boundaries, your connection to your nature, which really yoga is all about that. It's about coming home to ourselves and knowing our nature. And through knowing ourselves, we're able to operate authentically. We can take care of our health much more aware and honest. And honest self-honesty is a whole, that's a whole other world to dive into is what do, what is really actually nourishing for you. And so I can give a little brief tour of the virtual studio and so I'll share my, share my screen. So when, 
when you guys, of course, if you want to get more information, you can look at, I can send you a welcome packet. It's going to be attached to this uh, video. If you haven't done a 200 hour teacher training yet, you want to start with the 200 hour and then, or if you're already in RYT 200, or you already have your 200, you can dive into our advanced program, such as our 300 hour or our yoga therapy program. So we are accredited with IYT as a yoga therapy school, but we also have our accreditations with Yoga Alliance. And so what you'll see here, the the virtual or the one-on-one -on -one module format program, we have several classes a week. You'll get your unique pathway plan. And all of these classes are live stream. So you're able to join and it's real time. It's not pre-recorded. And you will get a manual. So when you enroll, I will mail you your in, your materials, your manual, all your goodies. We'll schedule your enrollment session and get you started. And then you can start jumping into the classes um, based off of your pathway plan. And then everybody gets some electives because if something sounds interesting and it's not on your, pa your plan, I want you to be able to dive in and experience it. So this is just an example of the calendar for you guys to see. There's several options. People usually take up to a year to complete. Generally, it's around eight months, nine months. I try to orient this stuff in a way that you don't have to feel rushed. You're not just checking boxes just to get through it, that it's really something that is transformative and personal. And in that you give from a place of have. I'm also really big on business development and aiding people in taking this work into the world because we live in a society where stress reduction is such a problem, right? Like stress-related illnesses, uh, mental health, all of those things are a huge crisis we're navigating. And when we learn the inner workings of our inner referral system, it, that's where we can begin to reclaim our power and our self-care. So this here is the on-demand. So if you're in the training, you get access to the on-demand workshop. So if you see there's Lots of fun business ones, innovative classes. We could get really nerdy. So we have <laughs> lots of lots of nerdiness happens in our trainings. And we That's have the kind. <laughs> yoga classes um, online. And then just, again, I we also focus on Vedic philosophy. And there's a whole portion. That's a, a different path. But if you want to learn about Vedic astrology, Joy Tish, we, we really try to diversify this modality in a way that aids people into reuniting with themselves where it's not about what you look like it's about how you feel and reconnecting and then you as a teacher guiding that to your community so I know that was a mouthful but no, you know, it's, it's such great information and everything you said about um the self-care and the moderating your anxiety I think especially after COVID everyone kind of took a, a moment to say, okay, I'm going to reevaluate my life a little bit. Am I on the right track? Because life is short. And I know a lot of our rooted followers know already that my dad was super, super healthy, awesome, like runner athlete and suffered a massive stroke, probably brought on by stress and anxiety from the businesses that he was running. And so for us, like, that's a really important part of our mission here at rooted is helping people stress doesn't go away, but you learn how to work through it and how to process it better and how to, like you said, self-moderate. Um, and, and all that is so important right now for, for our society. So yeah, like ex the exact, exactly what you're saying is so huge, but we got to remember no one taught us how to do that. Absolutely. Like we're, you know, it's, it's the yoga classes that we're learning to regulate our bodies or use our breath. The body is oriented towards healing. It is oriented towards health and vitality. It's just, do we make little choices or just understand even with tapping and acupressure to self-massage to breathing practices, or even as simple as forward folds, relax you, back bends, energize you, right? These things that are already in our body, it's just learning how to use them. So this is actually a great example of you don't have to desire to teach yoga to do the teacher training. You may just be really interested in it for yourself and your own journey. And then we do have some people who choose it because they want to build a career in this work and work with nonprofits, companies. Um, I didn't really introduce my myself and my background because I'm a yoga therapist. I'm a mind body expert. I'm a program developer for the U.S. Army. So I've trained and developed um, mindfulness based programs and mental performance-based programs for the army and still do that work as well. 
to integrating and working with nonprofits, mental health. So I'm really big about scaling this work into the public sector and making it really practical for people of all walks to be able to experience it. Because our programs are based in therapeutics. So this means adaptive, modified, um, we can kick your butt if you want to, if you want some power, we do it, we get into that too. And it can be therapeutic, uh, just because therapeutic doesn't mean easy. It means relevant, mm -hmm. that it's relevant to what the client in front of you or the individual is navigating and using yogic tools to pacify that. So that's our focus and specialty is that it's, it is specialized in therapeutics and accessibility. And so and the, the one thing about these module programs is that because you get so much one-on-one -on -one with me, we do tailor a lot towards where you want to take this or for your own self-development. I think that's huge. I think you you hit the nail on the head. People think therapeutic is easy or, oh, it's watered down or it's grandma chair yoga or whatever, but it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy how much people, I hear it every day. Oh, I tried yoga and it's not for me. And I try to explain to them yoga any day that you go running or you take a CrossFit class or you, your mind is maybe in a different space. So it, there's a lot of factors that determine whether or not you enjoy a yoga class. And maybe the instructor you had at that time just wasn't helping you feel successful in the class. So those are all little things that I think come into play, whether or not you enjoy the yoga experience. And so it's making huge. it relevant is so it, it's a, it's a skill. And if you don't practice it, then well, especially yeah. as teachers, right? That <laughs> yes. are we making it accessible? But then, like you said, there's so many styles out there. Mm -hmm. And in our program, we learn. you'll learn about, I mean, I think we go over 12 different styles, but I read, I read something that there is like th 30 million styles of yoga in the US or something. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's wild because there's so many different expressions of it. And just a real fun fact is even when they do research and study yoga, they, because there's so many variables, they pick this, the four things that are always the same in yoga, no matter what the class it should, there should be a relaxation, breath integration, welcoming presence. So that's where you witness and you just experience, you get curious about the now moment, this welcoming presence and then uh, movement. And that is yoga. So gardening technically could be yoga, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. washing the dishes, mopping the floor. <laughs> and this, and that's how you live like you practice too, is how you bring these self, um, self-regulated and the self-awareness, those gems into your day-to-day -day life. And it's so cool because this work, it's, it's not this external thing that changes. It's an internal where you just notice you deal with things better. You're not as overwhelmed or stressed or anxious and it's a really cool I say yoga does what yoga does because it's the traits you know but and I think you mentioned you have a six-year-old daughter also right I do yeah so it's so crazy we both have six-year-old daughters and I can't count the amount of times in a week that my yoga off the mat comes into play as as a mom you know people think I do yoga because I'm a chill person but on the contrary, I need it. And I need the tools that it, it helps me with. So um, I think it, it helps us. Yeah. As well, we, and, and, and then you <laughs> model it to your kids, right? Because that's the thing is you can tell your kids, hey, like you're safe or here's how to relax. But as a parent, and this is not just for kids, this is for our colleagues, our community, our friends, our partners, right? When we are modeling and embodying it, the regulation, that's really what teaches people. You know, even just when, if my daughter's upset, we're going to do butterfly, let's do butterfly tapping or mm -hmm. using the breath. And she, mm -hmm. she's so used to it because that's just, it's not, yoga is not something I do. It's, it's who I am. It's a way of life in a way, or really it's not, I shouldn't even say yoga. It's really mindfulness, mm -hmm. mindfulness and uh, self literacy. These are practices that are just part of our life. And I really try to frame this work and our trainings to demonstrate, you know, like if you do have kids and you're like, oh, I just can't until they get older. I can't until, well, actually by you just engaging in this stuff, you're modeling to them. You're teaching them through your choices and through your embodiment. And I think that's the biggest thing is what are we embodying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if there's any questions, any other questions with the training and getting started. So uh, I guess just 
maybe not a question, but just mentioning one more time that you do offer a 200 hour yoga certification that is virtual, right? And then also continuing ed credits through the, the virtual training studio. That's right. Yeah. So if you're not interested in doing a full training program, you can just drop in and get continuing ed credits. Um, and then if you want to do the full program, we do payment plans. You start with $500 deposit. Then I mail you your supplies. We pick your enrollment date. We get started on that date. Also, if anybody is military spouses, we do offer scholarships for that. So if you're a military spouse, contact about that. Um, but yeah, you would just, we just pick your date. We get started. It is open enrollment right now. Usually I'm booked out about two weeks to a month. So just whenever you reach out, just know it's probably, we'll probably get you in the next two weeks to a month at the soonest to get started. Um, but yeah, we could do payment plans. We, we make it accessible. Very cool. I, I I think that's all the questions I had. I'm really excited. I hope people take advantage of all the knowledge that you have there on your on your training studio. So thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs> of course. No, I'm so honored to work with you guys and collaborate. And what you're doing is incredible. Your studio, your mission, and all the things you represent. So I'm honored to be in this collaboration and partnership. And I look forward to supporting your community and being part of this community. Well, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm going to say it so that we put it out into the universe. I want you to come to Laredo to give a workshop at our studio. So Coming down. Yes. Make that happen. <laughs> yes, 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 we will. Well, thank you so much, Allie. Thank you. The journey of the self, through the self, to the self. I'm so happy to be a student of Mel Marie Yoga. One inspiring quote that Mel shared recently that I really loved was that your mind is not you. It is a filter to decide who you are. And that was really empowering to me because I think sometimes we have thoughts and we define ourselves based off of them rather than realizing our autonomy and choice and choosing what to keep and what to let go. A phrase that stands out to me from a yoga teacher experience is that intuition and self-trust will build a beautiful practice. I carry this phrase not only in my yoga practices, but in all aspects of my life. And not only do I feel whole and full personally, but also professionally. I'm on passion for my purpose and my calling. To me, it just reaffirms that I'm in the right path.